All right, so this is going to get kind of difficult. This is the bias tape, already flattened it. And now I'm going to put this right on the edge. And then here I'm going to make one seam of running stitches. And then I'm going to wrap it around and attach it on the other side with, I think, catch stitches, which I'm not very good at. So let's see if this works. I'm a bit concerned, especially about this area where it comes to a point, because I have to kind of pull it together in order to have the effect, and that might look really dumb, to be honest. So let's see if that works. And I just spontaneously changed my mind because this point is going to get super lumpy. So, change of plans. I'm going to use the binding just for the outside because that's going to work fine. And here I'm going to do something quite different. I... I'm going to cut in a little v-shape here and here and then I'm going to wrap it in this layer and this layer and I'm going to sew all the way around hemming the pocket slit this way also the pocket slit gets a bit bigger if I do it this way Here's the pocket slit and I'm just going to make one tiny cut here and this is too tiny actually, a bit bigger and one here. Now it looks like this, and this is what we need. Now let me see if I can show this to you. I've already wrapped these bits here in and attached them with needles, and I'm just going to stitch round and round and round. It's a very simple way of finishing a seam, but this bit here, still left, will have to be wrapped inside like the rest and I would just do this quickly but I have to show it to you so you can just kind of hmm. and now you won't be able to see anything see that's the problem with these cameras the fiddly bits just push it in if it wants to stay inside that would be so nice Okay, it's not going to stay in, so I'll put a pin in it, quite literally. And now it more or less stays this way. Oops. Hello, where's my camera focus? Here! Okay, now it stays. Right now the video is upside down, this is really confusing. So, what I'm going to do now is just use some white thread and just finish these wrapped up seams. And I changed my mind again, that's what happened. See, now it looks like this. And that looks too modern for me. I don't know why, maybe it's the, the angular nature of the thing. So see what I did? I did all the stitches here. I just wrapped it in and made some stitches. And this doesn't look so nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this all open again. And this is going to be just 
just the corner and down here I'm going to cut like a round hole so I can put this around and if it doesn't work out I still have more fabric to try it with so because if it's um, a round edge I can do this way easier even though it's kind of unruly and stiff and it might just look really stupid afterwards but we'll see it's still the best idea I have at this point This is what that looks like right now. Looks a bit silly, doesn't it? So technically I just took this strip and connected it like this. And then down here, ah, uh, this was a bit fiddly because I had to pull this straight basically and attach this. So this gets kind of warped, but it's going to look less weird later. And I already started on this side. I just kind of wrapped this around twice and now I'm attaching it here on this seam from the other side. So it's going to be pretty much invisible later. I'm quite proud of myself actually. But this is actually quite simple. I'm using the seam from the other side and I'm just kind of using this thread to connect these. I start off, here's the stitch from the other side and then I pull the thread up while pulling up a little bit of the bias binding and there you go. And honestly I have to say this is a pretty neat seam. I've seen worse. I think I might do this more often in the future. And look at this. This looks okay, I think. This looks very okay. I can work with that. 